Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a special episode of My First Listen, because today we're not really taking a look at a band that I've never heard of and looking at their, you know, songs and stuff. I know this band that we're talking about today, but this is something other than maybe like two songs off of it here and there. I have never heard this remix album in its entirety, and I'm talking about Reanimation the 2002 remix album by Linkin Park. So right after Hybrid Theory came out and was a big thing, this was the second thing they released right before Meteora. It features 20 tracks. I mean, there's a couple of, you know, um, interludes in there. Um, but you definitely get... It, it's all the tracks off of Hybrid Theory remixed, along with two called Executioner Style and then High Voltage. Um, and... You know what? Let's just, um, let's just get into it, shall we? Really what I find interesting about this album is that a lot of remix albums to me never really seem to work, but, you know, Mike Shinoda at the helm with this one, it just kind of... You know, it, it, it um, it feels right, and it still feels Linkin Parkish. Um, all the songs pretty much have a feature, um, and one of my favorites on here, the second to last track, "One Step Closer," is it's all the tracks are written all weird. Features the Humble Brothers and Jonathan Davis, and it's one of the <clears throat> heavier parts that you're gonna hear on this album. Not to say there aren't heavy parts; it's just they focus more on the rap aspect with this one. Um, Points of Authority remix kicks it off in the end does a little bit more of like I said a hip hop thing with Cut Masta Kurt and Motion Man um, most of these people I have never even heard of actually all but the last two which Jonathan Davis and then Crawling has Aaron Lewis which I thought that one could have been better I mean they tried to like do a mixture of Chester Bennington and Aaron Lewis's voice together kind of like um not a cappella style, but, but you get my meaning. And, you know, it's just... It's one of those things where I'm just kind of like, you know... I'm kind of glad I missed it, because it wasn't anything that I probably would have liked back in the day, because you hear hybrid theory, and then you hear this, and you're just kind of like, wow, what is this? But, you know, I look at it now, and knowing that they've experimented more and more over the years with different genres, especially on ones like Minutes to Midnight... Um, they got a little bit more hip hoppy on Meteora as well. A Thousand Suns, Living Things was a lot more electronic. And they just recently put out a pop record this year and had another um, remix album with, with um, Recharged that I have heard and really didn't like that much. Makes me appreciate this one a little bit more because then I was like, you know, they proved to us even before Meteora, before the Meteora cycle, that they can change and do different things and make it sound pretty cool. Heck, you can even throw Collision Course, the little EP they did with Jay-Z in there, mixing their songs with his songs, making it more hip-hop, or making their songs more hip-hop and his songs more rock. It was just a cool little feeling, and that one was a short EP. That one was six tracks, um, a little bit over t 20 minutes, I think. This one is an hour long, because like I say, you get 20 tracks. I mean, a lot of interludes, but, you know, it's just still a lot of a lot of tracks for, for what it is. But, um... Yeah, you also get <clears throat> My December w remix, which was off of the Deluxe Edition of Hybrid Theory. And then if you get the Japanese bonus edition, you hear By Myself, the Marilyn Manson remix. He makes it pretty interesting and dark. But yeah, I mean, what do I have to say? It's just your typical remix album. You're not really expecting to like all of it because there's just certain things in remix albums that you are definitely not gonna like but it has its high points and when it has high points they're like really high points and the low points aren't even that low you're just kinda like okay you know it's simple I get it but in the end no pun intended this thing is pretty good if I were to rate it from an album review perspective I probably would have gave it a 7 out of 10. At least now I would have. Back then, probably wouldn't have even cracked a 3. But, you know, with me 
you know, over the years looking more and more into hip hop music and seeing what's out there, this is definitely some of my favorite little pieces of hip hop music. And Joe Hahn on the turntables is just fucking fantastic. It sucks that not a lot of bands use turntablists anymore. That's a skill that takes a lot other than just doing what DJs do now where they copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, turntablish, and you need to know how to make it sound right and all this stuff. And Johan to me has always been one of the best at doing that. So yeah, I would definitely give this album a try if you haven't, especially if you're a Linkin Park fan who doesn't like their newer stuff, is only in it for like their first two albums. Give this thing a try and I will tell you you will be like, wow, and if you're not a big hip-hop head, this will definitely make you go into the genre of hip-hop and make you look at it a bit differently because this was a cool thing back then. And I'm surprised not a lot of people talk about this one a lot as they do Collision Course, but hey, whatever. We are um, to each his own, I guess. So yeah, that does it for this special episode of My First Listen. If you have heard this album, you can tell me in the comments below what did you think of this album. Um, and if you guys want to see me react to a band or artist that you have never seen me cover on this channel, or that I, well, it has to be one that I've never heard of, put in the comments below, and I will tell you if I've heard of that artist or not. And if I haven't, I will try to get to making a video about them. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. Hey Post, what should the people do if they enjoyed this video? They should unsubscribe and fuck off. What? No, it was like and subscribe. We went over the script beforehand. Well, I don't like you. What? You're gay! Well, you know what? Fuck you then. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, I think I broke my leg. If you enjoyed this video, there's uh, a couple videos you can watch. Please help. Um, please call don't me. listen to him. And, yeah, I, um, I love you guys. Peace out.